What's your ticket to happiness? Do you have one? I don't know that I do. I have an old friend who used to talk about ticket to happiness. She talked about it in terms of some life choices she was making in her 20s, but it's become kind of a refrain with us. And so I now use it flippantly. So until really recently, I would say something like, hey, if you use a little bit of hydrogen peroxide diluted, rinse your mouth with it, and then put baking powder on your toothbrush, your mouth will be so fresh. I think it's your ticket to happiness. So I would use it in this kind of flippant way. But this friend and I were talking recently and realized it's this elusive thing that, that on some level, at least I was believing that there was such a thing as a ticket to happiness and the flippancy and the sort of performative silliness around ticket to happiness was covering some kind of deep, sincere idea that there would be a ticket to happiness. I like movies and plays and concerts and things that require a ticket. Carnivals. Oh my gosh, state fairs. I love state fairs. I don't think, however, most lasting happiness comes in exchange for a ticket. 